Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. So for this week's video, um, I actually did struggle to come up with something. Um, I have been waiting for the latest upgrade subscription box, but unfortunately that hasn't come yet. I have noticed on Instagram uh, that people have started receiving them. Um, but yeah, I actually struggled to, to come up with something for this week. So I actually put it to you guys uh, on YouTube. I, I put up a poll uh, for the first time. I've never done anything like that before. Um, but yeah, I put up a poll on YouTube a couple of days ago and uh, you guys voted uh, for what I should do for this week's video. Um, the three options were a birthday art supply and art related book haul. The second one was a Hemi watercolour pan set review and the third one was another sketchbook spread. Um, but you guys voted and this is what you voted for. Huzzah! It is a art supply haul and uh, art related book haul. Um, it is a bit of a mixture of Christmas and birthday, mostly birthday. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really excited that you guys chose that because um, it's something a bit different on this channel. Um, I, was, I was contemplating whether or not to do something like this, but you guys voted and I'm, I really appreciate that you, you did that. And um, yeah, really excited to show you what I've got. Um, and go through everything so yeah let's crack on and um, let me show you what I've got so I'll move everything to the side what I think I'll do is I'll do the art supplies first and then I'll do the books um, I actually um, do have some more um, art supplies in this bag as well and I've got two more um, bits to the side of me but they are quite big um, but yeah let's uh, let's crack on Okay, so I'll start from the top. So we have here um, a selection of washi tapes and I, I have to say I can never have too many washi tapes. Um, I'll just show you a video of um, how many I have and I do have more um, than what I'm showing you, but uh, as well as these. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm really excited to see what the um, patterns and that are on here. Um, so let's open them up. So we've got a really nice range of washi tapes here. They're so pretty. Ooh. Absolutely love the designs on here in these patterns and the gold as well. I'll just show you a couple of them. This is really pretty. You can never have too many washi tapes. It's got a nice stick to it. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if you noticed last week when I was doing my um, art in my sketchbook, but there was uh, some tape that kept peeling up. So there are some tapes that I've got that don't stick very well, but these, these feel really nice. Absolutely love this one. So cute. Yeah, so very excited with these ones you'll definitely see them in future videos and so I'll just quickly show you the range here lovely okay so um so I got those for my birthday um which was last week and then um with this set um I actually got this for Christmas um but I just haven't had a chance to uh, open them up yet uh, but I wanted to share these with you um, these are the Caran d'Ache 10 Neo Color number no. 2 aquarelle um, crayons or wax pastels and I've already done a art review uh, video um, of another set um, which are these ones and I absolutely love them I'm so glad I've got this um, in my inventory i absolutely love them so i'm glad that i've got another another set and this is quite aut autumnal um colors um so it's very very pretty um so yeah you may see those in a future video um i could swatch these out as well so let's do that i think
are the Caran d'Ache um, 10 Neo Color Number 2 Aquarel uh, Wax Pastels. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to get to use these and to use them with the other set as well. Um, if you're wondering what the paper I'm using, it is the Langton um, watercolour paper, uh, which was received in a squaller box uh, a long time ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then um, we have, I'll just move that out of the way, uh, we also have a Gansai Tumbi Pearl Colour Set. Uh, again, these are water-based pigments uh, by Kurataki, and there's six in this set. I, I got these for my birthday. Um, I'm very excited because I don't really have any metallic, anything metallic or pearlescent um, paints, and I'd like to try them. And I do have black paper as well, so it'd be interesting to see how they work on black paper. But beautiful! How? Just look at that. That is absolutely, oh, it feels nice. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Can't wait to try these. I had a um, Windsor & Newton um, ink, which was gold, and I never actually got a chance to use it. It actually dried out, and I didn't have it that long, so I was really disappointed. Um, but I, I've always wanted to have like watercolor sets um, with like pearlescent or metallic, so I'm really excited. know if you can see uh, obviously they're still a little bit wet but there's just a nice little shimmer um, like a little shimmer undertone it's very very nice very excited to work with these and I don't know if you can see uh, the white here there is just a slight shimmer there very very happy and I absolutely love the actual pans as well I'm just that's very typical of Kurataki uh, watercolours in these little pans here. Well, they're not little, are they? <laughs> you can get quite a lot um, from this. So yeah, very, very excited uh, to work with these. I'm very lucky to get them for my birthday. Um, also for my birthday, I actually got a small um, Kurataki watercolour set, uh, the Iridori Kobako. I don't know if I said that right. Um, so it's three items uh, to make a picture in a compact washi paper box. I do offer sketch, illustration and more. Um, so yeah, let's open these up. So I'll just move that out of the way. Um, I absolutely love the box. I know you can get a lot bigger sets. Um, but I just wanted something a little bit smaller um, travel wise um, also uh, just for space saving um, as I do have a lot of art supplies and a lot of watercolours um, and I didn't know how I would feel about these I'm sure I, I, I kind of know what I'm going to fit like I think these are going to be amazing but I just didn't want to start off big I, I just wanted to start off small um, so um, this was on my Amazon wish list as, uh, along with with this one as well and um, I was able to get these for my birthday so I'm very lucky um, so yeah so this is the set um, I don't know if there's anything on the back it's just so we've got th uh, six six colors here and there is a gold here as well I was uh, wasn't expecting that <laughs> um, but yeah we have a water fill brush um, with a push here and quite a quite a nice um, brush tip there as well very nice yeah uh, so this is perfect for traveling like um, if you wanted to travel and take a little set with you 
then we have the Kuretake water-based pigment uh, fine liner in black um, so yeah so we've got a very small nib I don't know if you can see that but yeah but yeah very very nice I love the uh, the pen it's got glitter in it it's very nice I like it it's shiny and then we have the six set and there isn't actually a leaflet or anything to oh um it's here i believe um so we have the lemon yellow uh, rose madder burnt sienna viridian indigo and gold um those are the six colors um yeah okay let's let's swatch these out i won't use the brush um yet anyway typical um, Kurotake pans there as well and quite a lot on there and at the bottom it does say what the colours are very very excited to work with these as well I'm, I'm so spoiled Ooh. and that's the Kurotake, very bright pigmented colours. Um, it goes a long way actually. Very pretty. So we have the Paul Rubens uh, 14 colour 5ml watercolour set. Um, I was I actually saw these on somebody else's uh, art video on YouTube and I really wanted to get this set so this was a little treat for myself uh, so this wasn't for like birthday or Christmas um, I just really wanted to treat myself um, but I wanted to include it in this video um, I didn't want it to be a separate art review video um, so yeah um, I've just opened it up uh, while I was talking I didn't mention this um, but yeah uh, this has kind of got like a very Versace kind of look about the cover uh, you've got the black uh, on black with the gold uh, Paul Rubens stamp there um, and yeah absolutely beautiful um, we also have a leaflet I believe with all the colours that Paul Rubin do I don't think this is um, specifically to the box um, because that, there's only 14 and there's quite a few colours here but gives you an idea of their colour range and then we have a, a swatching card which actually feels very nice and it's already um, printed with the names on there as well so it's nice that they've included that um, and a little brand story of Paul Rubin, um, which is in uh, a language I can't read. So, yeah. Um, and then we've got this lovely bit of fabric with the uh, gold stamp on the front again. Um, so, yeah. And this is the set. Um, we have 14 of these colours. And I, I specific, specifically... Um, wanted this set because they're quite vibrant colours, uh, very almost fluorescent um, like colours um, so I definitely wanted to get get this set and I already have my own Paul Rubens watercolour set but um, I just wanted to add a little bit more to this um, this range so yeah um, let's swatch these out
so this is the set of uh, Paul Rubin watercolour set absolutely phenomenal can't wait to work with these okay next up we have the arches aquarelle watercolor paper uh, this one is gold pressed and it's 300 gm which is 140 pounds there are 12 sheets and it is about a4 size and it's 100% cotton. Um, I've really uh, wanted to invest in good quality paper, watercolor paper, and I've had my eye on this for a while. Um, Arches is a very good brand. Um, I don't get me wrong, I have a lot of paper, a lot of watercolor paper, mixed media paper, all of that, um, but I just wanted to invest in really good quality paper um, and start um, focusing on um, um, more detailed uh, watercolor. Uh, paintings so yeah um, this is why I've got it and uh, to play around with bright colors as well um, so yeah so that is what I've got I'll just show you the paper just quickly um, it is cold pressed so there is texture there if it was hot pressed it would be smooth paper so this i don't know if you can tell on the on camera but the uh, the texture and it's so it's thick it's so beautiful um i can't wait to work with this paper so yeah so that is the only thing that um i've got which is like paper form uh in this uh haul so yeah uh I also have uh, some art supplies that I bought from Hobbycraft. Um, I actually got um, some vouchers, both Christmas and birthday. I kind of combined them together because at the time I really couldn't think about what I wanted. Um, so I, um, when I got uh, some more vouchers, I thought, do you know what, I need to actually go and see what I can get with, with those. So um, this is what I've got from Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft is a arts and craft store here in the UK. It's pretty much the main uh, arts and craft store here. Um, there is like WH Smith, um, the works and the range. Um, but yeah, I would say uh, for arts and crafts it's mostly hobby craft um, so that's where I got my art supplies from with the vouchers so I'll just grab something um, one at a time and we have the Faber Castell 24 polychromous colour pencils um, I've again wanted to invest in really good quality colour pencils. I have my Derwent ones which I do love and my pro colours but um, I I, I decided to actually give Polychromos a go. Um, they are very good. Um, Faber Castell is a very good brand, and um, these pencils have been absolutely raved about. So I definitely wanted to give these a go. I did actually want a bigger set than just 24. Um, but this was the only set that they had and <laughs> I was very surprised at how expensive these are but I'm sure um, they are very much worth the money um, so we have this is the color range in this set I'm not gonna um, swatch these ones I think I'll leave that for another video um, there's quite a lot of swatching uh, in this video alone so I think I'll do this for another video um, but uh, and um, there's probably a lot of videos on YouTube already um, reviewing uh, these polychromos pencils so you probably don't need me to do them as well um, but I will include them in art pieces uh, in future videos but yeah so this is the color range um, I'm very excited um, to get to try these um, and include these in uh, my art pieces as well um, also to go along with the polychromos um, I actually bought another three um, coloured pencils. I actually picked up more, but when I looked at the back of this, they were they were already in there, so I put them back. Um, but yeah, I picked up just three more um, colours. Um, this one is light magenta. Um, 
I absolutely love the colour. Um, I'm kind of going to, towards more pastel colours at the moment. Um, that's kind of or vi like vibrant, bright colours or pastels at the moment. Um, that seems to be my go-to. Um, and then we have coral, which I think is a really pretty colour. I think it's lovely. And um, we have, come on, focus, uh, light cobalt turquoise. Um, so we've got some really pretty colours there to go along with the Faber Castell 24 set. So that's those. Um, and then I also, this actually drew, drew, I wasn't planning on getting these. Um, I just saw the colour the set, um, the fact that they were pastel colours and I was just like, yeah, I'm going to get them. Um, so these are the Tombow Flexible Brush and Fine Tip in one pen. So it's two, two en uh, double ended um, and they are six blendable colours. So I believe um, they are watercolour paints yeah watercolour paints and blend efforts effortless i can't even speak effortlessly um so yeah i absolutely love the colors uh in this set and i do have some tombos already uh, from an artful box and um subscription boxes but uh yeah i thought i'd invest in some some uh, tombow watercolour pens um, so I'm very excited to try these out um, again I, um, yeah I could swatch these out actually let's do that now subtle but I, I really like these colors and they go really nicely with these as well which was kind of the idea so yeah that's those these are all the art supplies that I've either got for my birthday or Christmas or through vouchers um, so yeah I'm very excited um, to work with with all of this if there's anything in particular here that you got an interest in seeing in a future video please do let me know in the comments down below uh, be interested to see what you're interested in um, with with these art supplies so yeah do let me know the next thing that we have is this diamond painting set this one is an elephant um, I can tell exactly what it is um, as I love elephants and my friend who bought this for me knows I do um, I do on occasion um, do diamond painting in my spare time so I'm very excited to give this a go um, it is a form of art um, and it's very relaxing to do as well I'm currently working on one at the moment and I'll just show you which one this is so this is um, the diamond dots brand and this is the one that I'm currently working on um, this is uh, homage to my late mother-in-law who loves swans so I'm working on this uh, for my husband so yeah um, so that's currently what I'm doing with that one uh, so that was the only craft thing that I've actually received for my birthday but I just wanted to include that uh, in this video if you're interested in anything like that the last thing that I got uh, in the art supply haul is this Hobbycraft art table easel. It's something that I've wanted for a while. Um, I have a few uh, canvases that I've wanted to work on, so now I can. I'm very excited to actually get to work with it. So that is everything um, in the art supply haul. Okay, so this is the last part of the video. This is the um, art related book haul um, there are some books in here that I've had a little while and some that I got for my birthday but I wanted to include them in this video because I feel like it could help you um, if you're on the same journey as me um, trying to learn and develop um, your style and just get creative uh, there are a couple of books in here that I think will be very useful to you um, so I'll start off 
with the top one which is the simplified forms this is uh, by Mikhail Laricella uh, I don't know if I said that right um, but there's quite a few of these books um, uh, uh, focusing on different things like the face um, people wearing clothes large people um, and this one is for anatomy because it's something that I want to like focus on um, as well as faces but yeah it's quite small but it is jam-packed with information uh, it breaks down the form to make it easier to understand uh, of the human body um, and yeah um, just makes it a bit easier to um, look at uh, a body and break it down in shape form and draw like that so it's very very informative i definitely recommend it um, so yeah so that's that one so the next two books are by Peng and Hu, which is Hirameki. Um, it is kind of like the reverse colouring book that you may have seen around YouTube. Um, this actually came before um, the reverse colouring book, so this isn't uh, it isn't new. Um, but I've had these a while, but I've never actually uh, worked in them. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to share this with you um, if you're in like a creative block or um, just need some inspiration or anything like that I think this or just to have fun really um, this is a, I think a very good book to use um, it's basically just splodges of paint and, uh, and that and you just draw what you see um, it could be anything and it's just about just letting loose your creativity um, and just going with the flow uh, I think it's really fun um, and quite entertaining actually and I would imagine quite um, relaxing just like in front of the TV um, with this on your lap just doodling I think this would be quite quite fun so I wanted to include these two so this one's just draw what you see um, different splodges of uh, paint and this one is clouds uh, I don't think anyone has um, not looked up at the clouds and thought oh that looks like a, a dog so I think this is very fun and uh, definitely worth having a go so yeah I'll leave a link in the description below of everything um, that I've shown you in this video so if there is something you're interested in um, check out my description The next um, book I wanted to show you was 365 Days of Art in Nature by Lorna Scobie. Um, this I, I think is an amazing book. Um, if you don't have the time to do like detailed art but you have like five or ten minutes, um, this is a really good way of um, still getting your art in a day. Um, so you have an activity every day for 365 days and then you can just tick it off but every active activity is different you can use different materials um, I'll just show you the first activity so the first activity is to fill the page with doodles of leaves you may feel like adding color afterwards um, and that's just day one um, so if you don't have the time to do detailed art but you um, want to make sure that you do art every day this this book is amazing and there's so many different uh, activities and challenges um, that you can do and it's all based around nature as well um, and this absolutely um, I, I'm definitely eager to try try this out um, you don't have to try it on um, January 1st you can try it any day of the year as long as you do it every day it's a good way of um, like creating a habit um, in doing art every day and also it helps you improve as an artist so um, I'm very excited to try this out with this book as you can see uh, you'll be able to draw faces by the end of this book and it's by Jake Spicer um, a couple of videos ago I did a, a portrait and uh, I was really struggling um, I haven't done portraits in a long time I was very rusty um, and it, it really did get me down uh, I didn't want to be like negative but it really did bring me down um, so 
I, I'm always eager to improve and find ways to improve and I actually came across this book and I think this will be a really fun uh, and interesting way of learning um, to draw uh, portraits again. Um, so yeah, it's very informative at the beginning and then there are sort of like exercises that you can work on as well so the, the the paper is there for you to actually work into this book so um, I definitely recommend it if you're looking into portraits as well um, I believe there is an, another one about anatomy um, I'm not sure um, but yeah there are a couple of these books um, but uh, I definitely recommend it uh, so that's that book up next we have from the films of Harry Potter watercolour wizardry book uh, you can paint 32 spellbinding creatures and plants from the wizarding world um, there, there's a step-by-step -step guide uh, I am actually fascinated with the um, creatures from Harry Potter more specifically Fantastic Beasts absolutely love those movies um, but yeah I absolutely um, adore the creatures that are in Harry Potter um, but as you can see there are um, sketches at the back of the book where you can actually paint on this is watercolor paper um, and then just further along the front of the book it gives you a step-by-step um, -step tutorial of how to paint these creatures and plants so yeah I'm very eager to try this book especially with the watercolors that I've got um, in this haul and then we have the RHS flowers, uh, the watercolour art pad. There are 15 botanical artworks for you to paint and this is by Rachel Pedder Smith. Um, I, I do love all types of nature and would like to learn a bit more about watercolour um, and uh, painting flowers. So I actually did buy this last year at Kew Gardens in London um, and I just haven't had a chance to um, really play around in it uh, but I wanted to share it with you because like if you're learning watercolor the same as me um, and you want like a, a, a good way of learning I think this will be quite useful the same as the Harry Potter um, book I mean they do other books other than Harry Potter so if you're not a Harry Potter fan you don't have to um, get one of these books but there are quite a few uh, watercolour books out there for you to practice in and um, there, there's some really cool like tutorials of how to do that so um, I definitely recommend it which is why I've mentioned it in, in this um, haul so yeah that is basically all of the books um, that I think would be quite useful um, if you're on the same art journey as me um, but yeah uh, let me know in the comments down below um, if there's any books that you're interested in or that you would recommend uh, for me um, I mean it's quite vast out there and um, I, I definitely want to learn and um, read more books so if, there, if you've got any recommendations please do leave a comment down below but yeah that is literally the whole art supply uh, and art related book haul I, I know it's a lot of information um, I hope I haven't bored you too much with with what I've got um, and you've taken something away from this video um, but yeah thank you so much for watching if you made it this far um, please do give me a like share and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much take care bye